Hey guys, Royce here, and today we're going to learn all about bridges. Okay, so the first step is to know where you're going to span the gap. Well, now that we've found that, we can essentially find our midpoint. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use our selection tool to basically uh, select right there and select right there, and then do such a middle, and then uh, one. Yeah, that would totally going to work. Okay, so now that we have our middle block, we are actually, I'm actually really happy with the fact that it's a, um, an odd, because odds are important in bridges. They're not the most important, but it's nicer to work with an odd than anything else. Okay, so now that we've found our center point, we want to just make a one pillar. And the thing is that you don't really need to start from this side, which is what most people do. They'll they'll start with making their pillar on this side. But the problem is, is that it might not look centered um, on that side. So it might be halfway into the wall, but it might you might be able to see the whole thing here. So what we want to do is we just want to make one pillar right in the middle. Generally, I just go with like a simple arch design, um, you know, leading out and whatnot. And a lot of this can literally just be one layer because the most important layer right now is just this outer layer that I can essentially just stack once I'm happy with the design just like that. And so now I can just make my bridge um, as thick as I want once I'm done. But basically, as you can see, what my idea is, is basically you make the entire uh, gap and then you just stack that way and then you stack that way and you can kind of see where I'm going with the pillar design and it would be super easy. So we're just going to make one pillar and that way we can just do uh, this stacking and it will make the rest of the bridge for us and we don't have to do as much work. Okay, so we're going to go through the entire pillar design and if you want to skip a little bit, you most certainly can to a little bit later and kind of just get the gist of how to make a bridge if you want to make your own designs and stuff like that. But if you want to follow the exact design, then I will essentially show you how to do that. So now we have a very simple pillar design and I can show you how that is going to uh, transform into a full thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to thicken it. So we're going to thicken on this side and thicken on this side. And we're going to go down a little bit, right? So we want thicker pillars. So we're just going to make thicker pillars. And then, of course, now the uh, curve is not great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down. We're going to get ourselves uh, stairs and slabs. It's so annoying that these aren't like right next to each other, but it is what it is. And then we're going to kind of just make a design with these stairs. Actually, I think I want to do it one up. So let's go right here and then a slab or so and then a, a full block and then a slab and then maybe another slab and then two more slabs. And that way we get a nice little curve. Man, curves are really hard. So what we're going to do is just to ensure that we have it on the same exact side, we're going to select the entire thing. Of course, you don't have to do this, but we can do such a copy. Then we can look in the direction that we want to flip it. We do such a flip and then we do such a paste. And there we go. Now we ensure that it's on the exact same side. So then what we're going to do is we're going to indent this just a little bit because I like uh, adding a little bit of depth into my builds. It's fun. It's exciting. And it makes it look a little cooler. Then we're going to go get another uh, stair and then boom, we could probably put a stair right there. That way just indents it just a little bit uh, to make the curve just a little bit nicer. And then of course, what we can do is we can add a little bit of design here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like a little bit of stair design. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to place a stair there, a stair there, a stair there. And then of course, you can just kind of see it's a very simple design, but it works and it's clean and I like it. Uh, maybe actually do it right. Um, and you know, it's just, it's, it's clean. It's simple. It's, you know, I don't know. It's not too, it's not too cluttered. It's not too, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to talk while I'm trying to build at the same time, but it actually kind of looks like a little face. That's actually pretty cute. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to actually extend the railing out a little bit because railing is super important. So we're only going to go to this point right here and then only go three blocks into this point. And that is essentially to ensure that the middle, uh, this area, so basically when you start going back down this way, that you only get this three uh, gap middle because if you select the whole thing right here, then you would get six blocks each stack instead of just three. So we want to ensure that we're doing three. So we're just going to do this one section. So we're going to stop right there and stop right there. So hopefully that makes sense. It will make some more sense 
uh, once you actually, you know, watch me stack it. Um, so, but then we can basically go to the middle and then start doing a little bit of this simple detailing. It's not, ex you know, extreme or anything. Again, it's clean, it's simple. It does not have to be this super ultra extravagant thing that a lot of people do with their bridges. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep, keep it simple and clean. I'm gonna use some chains and some like gray concrete. Use some chains like that, super simple, super easy. And then we're gonna put some carpet on top of it, just like that. I like going along the line so I can keep my crosshair in the same place, just like that. And then of course you can use, or, you know, you can either use walls, um, but I'm gonna be using just a simple slab, just like that, nothing too complex. In fact, I need to add a little bit more chain and a little bit more carpet on this end so that it meets that. Okay, so as you can see, a super simple design, but it will look good. And that's super duper important. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more spice to your uh, builds, you can add like little highlights. Um, you can even do, uh, actually we'll just set this with um, a, a command, but basically you can do like 43.9 and that's gonna, oops, do one lower. Um, and you can like set it with some like smooth stone and stuff like that, just to give it a little bit more detail. It's nothing too extravagant. Again, keep it clean, keep it simple. From afar, it does not look bad. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially stack this um, how we want. So basically we're gonna take a section here and then we're going to stack some blocks down here and then we're gonna do that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in the direction that we want it to stack. And we're gonna stack minus A, just like that. Now, if you don't wanna get rid of those blocks in the center, because like you can just, you know, replace them. But if you wanna don't got or if you don't wanna get rid of them, you can do such as G mask air and then stack, and then that way it will stack without getting rid of those blocks because we are only affecting the air. So what we're gonna do is now that we have that, basically we want it to be a centered bridge because centered bridge looks uh, you know better so we're gonna do stack three actually we're gonna stack four because now we have a center block just like that super simple and super easy then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, flip the railing and the detail over to the other side so we're gonna make a small selection here we're going to go to the center of the bridge it does not matter where you are in the center of the bridge itself but just the center of the road we're gonna do slash slash copy so I'll flip and then we're going to do paste minus a and there we go we have our side just like that and it's not going to do too much right so and then of course you're probably going to need a few detail blocks uh to be changed and the stairs flipped around of course you can add some of these blocks right here just to make it look coherent on this side too um but as you can see it looks very good on both sides now. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of detail to the road. So I don't want it to just be stone. So in the middle, I'm going to add um, one five, which actually I need to turn off my G mask and then set one five, which is basically just andesite. And then of course, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna get some andesite stairs. I'm gonna clear out this whole row. And then I'm gonna just add some stairs to the side to make it look like there's some gutters along the road, just in case it rains or anything. Thing, um, even though it probably just fall off the road whatever does not matter um, you can add lamp posts and stuff to your things but this is just a simple tutorial we're not going to go too too advanced on this so basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a whole selection of this remember it doesn't actually need it just needs to make sure that you're in line so wait what we can do is I can actually visually show you the box so basically if I do walls and then like 20 um, I can actually show you the selection that it is. So you can, as you can see, wait, actually, does it show properly? Yes, it does. Um, let me do G mask zero, that way it won't destroy any of my blocks. So as you can see, this is the box that we're um, editing in. So that's the box that's gonna get edited or stacked, should I say. Okay, so then we're gonna look this way and we're gonna stack minus A, and then we're gonna look in this direction and stack minus A. Now, of course, there might be some imperfections like with the terrain or anything like that. Sometimes you just have to go in by hand and fix those. But what we're gonna do with these pillars is we're gonna take them and we're gonna just stack them times 15 or something. It does not really matter. Um, and it, you just kind of do it as it goes. It goes into the water. Oh, actually, make sure to G mask properly. Then stack, there we go, now it goes into the water and it looks like it's 
going down into the earth and there's going to be no problems there so let me just restack this one real quick so that it looks like it's going fully into the water and then of course you can add back your details and stuff you can kind of make these pillars as detailed or not as you like does not necessarily matter but you can kind of just have fun with it and there we go we basically have a a bridge that was not super difficult to um, do. Of course, there is a minor issue with the stone because I had my G mask on. So I can do such a replace one or just stone with smooth uh, stone. There we go. And there we go. Now I have that fixed on that. And as you can see, it's a super simple bridge. It's not too complicated. And anybody can do that. You could do this in survival. Um, just use the same tactics. It's just of course you won't have all that and stuff but hopefully that uh, allows you to make bridges simpler and um faster um and hopefully it'll allow you to make some really awesome creations if you want to uh, show me your creations you can join my discord down in the description below any anyway, guys hopefully you have a fantastic day and i'll see you later peace